Does the name Faith Odunsi ring a bell? Well, she is a 15-year-old queen of mathematics who beat contestants from first and second world countries in the global mathematics tournament. Her feat helps bring some brightness to the Nigerian narrative at a time of gloom and negative perception around the world. Mathematics by faith, as he calls it, is yet another story of great interest from Ola Awakon, who came up close with the three-time queen of mathematics in Nigeria. Faith Odunsi is already a household name. Even on the search engines, once you type faith, Odunsi automatically pops up. The 15-year-old SS3 student of the Ambassador Schools is already the delight of entertainers, politicians and educationists on social media. This is how far the laurel has taken the young Nigerian mathematician. This is the genius at school. She may look like the regular student, but when it comes to mathematics, she demonstrates a mastery beyond her age. You are welcome to mathematics class for this week. At this popular mathematics TV show, she broke a record that will most likely take a very long time to be superseded. By 1 over 3, by 5, five over 6. Correct. What she answered 19 questions in 60 seconds. 24,000. Correct. What is the sum? 28. Point? Correct. What is the sum of the prime numbers between 1 and 5? 10. Correct. I got so fascinated by the achievement of this 15-year-old with a mathematics brain. Four. A round of applause for her. She is retaining the crown as the queen of mathematics at the National Mathematics Olympiad for the third time. What is mathematics to her? It's just about understanding the concepts. So if you understand what it's about, then you should be able to solve virtually almost all the questions under it. She has already become a source of inspiration to her classmates. Since my friend can do it, it means I can also do it. So yeah, it means that everybody can do it. So like, nobody's better than anybody. So like, I'm just more determined. I saw her working hard so I knew that everything comes by working hard and not just by playing that you have to work hard to achieve what you want or what you desire so it has inspired me to do better and work harder. What is this feat she has attained that is being talked about globally? The Global Open Mathematics Tournament is a competition for secondary schools to celebrate the best brains in mathematics globally. Faith Adeshewa Odunsi was entered for it to represent Nigeria in the senior category, like other students across the world. Her mathematics teacher explained the effort put in to prepare Ms. Odunsi for the task. Immediately we saw the preparing, we saw there's a possibility of her committing people from United States, Philippines and other countries that are doing well in mathematics. At first she was afraid. But I was able to encourage her and let her realize that math is simple, math is easy. It's all about first to answer, think, look at the question, watch out for if there's any trap, and if you are able to identify that, you will be able to answer the question. Then I kind of inform her there's no question she can solve. She can solve it as far as she put her mindset to it. Even the head of school confirms that Faith is just an exceptional student, always willing to attain excellence in all she does especially mathematics. In 2018, she wrote the Calvapedia uh, speedomatic uh, something by, um, by uh, answering 19 questions in 60 seconds. Nobody has done it like that since then. She was also, uh, the, she was also a former, I mean, he was, is, is this the present reigning queen of mathematics in Nigeria? I'm queen of mathematics in Africa. I've been learning by myself, actually. And I've been, I've been teaching you too. She did not go for the competition alone from the school. Her brother, another mathematics guru, also represented the country in the junior category. I've attended um, the South Africa Mathematics Olympiad. Um, I've attended Kangaroo and Frontiers. He is proud of his sister and hope to bring the trophy home someday as well. I've been excited and very happy because, like, it's not, it's very good, it's a very good achievement, and I'm very happy. See Adeshawa's trophy and the mouth watering prize.
It was time for her to take us home to her parents. We drove around Songwater in Ogun State to the house. Her father and mother received us warmly. You're welcome, Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you? You're welcome. The 15-year-old girl is an indigene of Ogun State who has brought glory to not just her family, state or country, but the whole of continental Africa. Miss Odunsi quickly changed from the school uniform to a more comfortable house wear. The mathematics queen is not also an outcast in the kitchen. How were you able to climb that ladder of global excellence in mathematics? I feel was built the most in the semi-finals because that was where I entered the tiebreaker. At the end of the semi-finals, both of us got the same number of points. So we had to enter a tiebreaker. I was like, Fitz, can you do this? Then when they give us the, when they give us the question, I just, I must do this fast. So I just quickly t um, did my answer. Then I was scared of missing it, like, because the reason, like, during the semi-finals, I made so many careless errors, maybe because I was scared, or maybe because, I don't know. So I was just like, Faith, what if you make another careless error, and then just stop, end your chances of entering the finals? So I cross-checked, cross-checked, then I typed in my answer. So I was the first correct answer. So that's how I qualified to the finals automatically. This is her corner at home. She solves problems in mathematics into the dead of the night. Her father, a surgeon, recounted how he was also a local champion in mathematics back in the day. I also represented my school. Then we had the Jets Club. I schooled in Akwaibom State. I represented my school. I represented my local government. I got to the state level, but I never got to the national level. But now my daughter has uh, made it to the national, not only to the national level, to the international level, and she has conquered. And uh, as a fulfilled father, I'm happy that where I couldn't get to, she has surpassed it. And I know that um, the, even the sky is not our limit with God being on our side. Her parents have always known her to be a studious child who takes her academics seriously. She's a special child. Right from when she was young, she would always, she's inquisitive type. Uh, she would always want to know the reason for everything. And she's very logical. She's very meticulous in all that she does. Looking at her outside school, we think she doesn't know what she wants or she doesn't. You can't envisage that, oh, because she's the quiet type and she's been like that. Even as a toddler, I never had issues training. She has been calm and a bit reserved. She's not the too playing type. She's not the too talking type. Contesting against representatives from Indonesia and the Philippines in the final sounded like a cup of cake for her. The margin of victory with the closest rival was much. I was competing with Nicholas Lee from another country, I think Indonesia. So, well, I wasn't as scared as I was in semi-finals because, well, I got the hang of it and it was like, I saw the question how the junior was so I said, Faith, you don't have to be scared. So um, we did the finals and God helped me. I got 40 points and he got 10 points. How did you receive the news of her victory? The chairman of the school, Mommy Sosewa, I saw her call and I was wondering, Mommy Oshewa, I hope all is well. And I picked the call. Lo and behold, I had congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. I, I started responding, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And she told me, the Lord has just done it again. Faith has emerged, the overall winner. And I shouted. I was by the roadside. I was excited. I was full of joy. I, was, I started calling my husband, started calling my siblings. I was so elated. I was very happy. And it called for celebration. I, I was a proud father. And I still am. I... It's been a thing of joy in this home. Uh, Faith is such a child that she has uh, made us proud. At a time like this that um, Nigeria is faced with a lot of challenges when it comes to insecurity, girl child issue, domestic violence, out of school children, um, your daughter has attained this feat. You know, how will this help you know, change the negative narrative about this country? 
we need to pay more attention to the educational sector. Um, the talents abound in this country. And almost in every field of human endeavor, Nigerians excel, both within the country and outside the country. And we need to harness these talents. We need to catch them young, as they say, and harness these talents, particularly um, the girl child. Adishawa's parents say the news of the victory has brought the name of the family into the limelight. See her glittering laurels. I'm really going to say to the government that they should try to work more on their schools, like work more on providing infrastructure and everything that the students need because children are the, like the future of Nigeria is in their hands. So they are the leaders of tomorrow. So them not putting much effort into this is just endangering our future. At a time that about 10.5 million children are not in school in Nigeria, though primary education is officially free and compulsory, and one in every five of the world's out-of-school children is in the country. Faith Adeshewa Odunsi's accomplishment may just be one to spur the government and stakeholders in the education sector to action. Perhaps more geniuses can come from Nigeria. Miss Odunsi attaining this feat in SS3 may just be on her way to one of the best universities in the world as she plans to become an engineer. Faith Odusi has become an inspiration to many Nigerian children, most especially the girl child. And the feat that she has attained now shows Nigeria in the positive light in the Committee of Nations. And she believes that a lot can be done by the government to develop and grow the education sector. Ola Awakon, TBC News, Songwater, Ogun State.